Welcome everyone. Today I am going to show you the principal reactions that are involved during the lab preparation of formic acid. While writing the principle, you have to write one statement. And the statement is that in lab, formic acid is prepared by heating glycerol molecule with oxalic acid at 110 degrees Celsius. Okay, you have to write this statement. And now in the video, I will show the reaction, how the reaction proceeds. It is so easy to remember, right? Eh? At first, you have to remember the molecular formula of glycerol. Okay, you have to remember the molecular formula of glycerol. Look at here. This is the molecular formula of glycerol. This is the glycerol molecule. Glycerol. And it is heated with the oxalic acid. Okay, the molecular formula of oxalic acid. Look at here. COOH and COOH. This is the molecular formula of oxalic acid. This compound is oxalic acid. You have to heat, treat the glycerol with oxalic acid while treating. Uh, here, the glycerol molecule acts as a base and oxalic acid acts as acid. So that base will give OS minus and acid will give H plus and okay, minus H2O. Now the remaining part is, the remaining part is CH2 and then O. C double bond O, there are also C O and O S. This is the remaining part. A bankita as it is a glycerol majority like the C H O H and then C H2 O S. Yes, the name of this compound is uh, glycerol monooxalate. Its name is glycerol monooxalate. Its name is glycerol monooxalate. Okay. Now, what we have to do is that we have to heat this glycerol monooxalate at 110 degrees Celsius. 110 degrees Celsius may heat guru. 110 while heating at 110 degrees Celsius, carbon dioxide molecule will eliminate from this compound. Now the CO2 eliminate. This is the decarboxylation. Eh? CO2 eliminate only baki part ki unsa eruna. CH2O, C double bond O, and here is the H. Okay. And the remaining part the, as it is CHOH and uh, CH2OS. This compound, eh? You want to now look at here. This fragment is the fragment of formic acid. So that its name is glycerol monoformate. The name of this compound is glycerol. Its name is glycerol monoformate. Okay. Now, after the formation of glycerol monoformate. What you have to do is that at the end of the reaction, you have to hydrolyze it. You have to hydrolyze it. Glycerol CH2O. Glycerol CH2O. This is the glycerol monoformate. Okay. This compound is glycerol monoformate. Glycerol monoformate. Now, what you have to do is that you have to hydrolyze it. Hydrolysis is Hydrolysis Monoformate. This is the glycerol monoformate. It hydrolysis meaning we have to treat it with water molecule. Water molecule is not treated. H2O, HOH. Now, what will happen here? Here, what part is this part? Your part junsa at C O your part O S sa combine unsa sri kesa combine bo O S sanga so that the remaining product will be H C O kesa ma jodi nesa O S sanga O S layer hai rakhdi sri O S rakhdi now and the rest part is rest kesa hami sanga C H two feria O sa ne thiyo yoda ya sa O S sa bo again here C H O S and next CH2OH, you one level. It means that at the end of the reaction, glycerol molecule is regenerated and the product formed is methanoic acid. This is the methanoic acid and its common name is formic acid. So common name thank you, formic acid, okay? Now, these are the tips of thank you once one. Kune book maki de kundavani. At first, your reaction is your step there. Kunsa second step, my your reaction lehe kunsa third step, my you lehe kunsa. You got the head of a key problem. On seven, do you choose your molecule co structure about a drug on the bottom? Do you choose your drug on the bottom? You got the time only body waste. That's why you have to write a single reaction. Single reaction is step by the honey. So to some of my lekna bains. Okay, thank you for watching the video.